Hi Scorpio, we appreciate you taking the time to listen to your daily reading on your Orapsi channel for October 21, 2022. Today's mood swings between passionate and free-spirited at the drop of a hat, so be aware that you may not feel the same throughout the day. While Venus is in Libra and your drowsy 12th house of the subconscious for the day, she will create a very powerful and intense square to alchemical Pluto, who is now in Capricorn and your buzzy third house of local communities and communications. This is certainly the most sociable section of your chart, so with Venus moving through such a quiet part of your chart, you may find it difficult to communicate your views. Don't worry, this is just a short setback, and you'll be back to wowing the world in a matter of days. For the time being, don't push anything since the universe wants you to take a back seat due to the present alignments. Today, the moon is in Virgo and in your 11th house. Do you have a strong feeling of friendship in your personal relationships? Do you and your spouse have similar aims and aspirations in your personal and professional lives? These are all excellent questions to ponder. If you feel that any of these traits are lacking in your romantic relationships, now is the time to work on incorporating them more into your relationships. People often overlook the importance of having a friendship as well as a love relationship with their spouse. Friendship-based relationships tend to continue far longer than romantic relationships because individuals involved view each other more truthfully and project less of their romantic fantasies on one another. It is also critical that you and your spouse have comparable mentalities and aspire to create similar things in your life. As a result, the collaboration might act as a propeller for your ambitions. Community is such an important component in deciding whether you are happy or fulfilled at work. Today, the moon is in Virgo and in your 11th house, this emphasizes the nature of your interaction with your colleagues. Do you find it simple to collaborate with others? Do you know how to delegate? Do you get the impression that the folks you work with share your views and goals? All of these are valid questions to ask yourself now. Continue to focus on making all of those things a reality at work, especially in connection to people, what old concerns are still bothering you, Scorpio, and how are they impacting you today, Scorpio, the more you tackle problems from your past that trouble you, the more success you will have in the future, sometimes a mental change is all that is required, and this is particularly true with this moon phase. What modifications to your mental pattern can you make to make things easier for yourself in the future? Journaling your thoughts and emotions is highly advised and may result in wonderful consequences, Scorpio, so take the time to do it now. Today, Scorpio, your confidence is boosted, and your soul is brimming with inventiveness and inspiration. This is the day to share your gifts with the world and hope that they are warmly appreciated. Begin the day with yoga or aerobics to remove negativity and boost confidence. Today, sunstone will stimulate your imagination and link you to your creative core. Wear sunstone jewelry or carry a piece of sunstone with you to boost your confidence and inspiration, Scorpio, slice up a pear and serve it with a dish of cottage cheese for a tasty, substantial snack. This creamy, sweet delicacy is rich in antioxidants, vitamins, protein, and calcium, Scorpio, let your imaginations take you anywhere they want. Venus is in Libra and your dreamy 12th house of the subconscious all day, throwing a drowsy glow over the day and urging you to power down and relax. Even if you do attempt to get a few Zs, it seems that someone will be on hand to awaken you from your sleep, as Venus produces a very intense angle that will undoubtedly capture your attention, throughout the day, she'll reach out and square off with alchemical Pluto in your third house of communications, launching you out of your lethargic twelfth house transit. With so much energy pinging about the sky, it may be difficult to decide where to direct your attention, but follow my advice and try to let go of control for now. It will return in a few days when Venus enters your sign. I wish you a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time.